All right. Hello, guys. Um, so I was going through the Creative Core on Unity, and someone had a question about the Pro Builder section, and I was trying to read it and decipher it. this comment from KP. Um, I wasn't really sure how to recreate or kind of make heads or tails of this comment. So I'm going to just go ahead and walk you through how uh, I followed the tutorial to get to the doorway. Because there are a couple confusing photos in here. All right, so we're gonna get to this doorway um, of the tutorial. So I'm gonna start from creating the cube, creating the wall with your cube. So let me go ahead, start fresh. I'm gonna go ahead, go to tools, pro builder, uh, editors, shape, create a shape cube. I'm gonna go ahead, put it right here. I'm gonna make a cube. We're gonna go ahead, oops. If you make something, just control Z to undo it. I'm gonna go ahead and select my Pro Builder cube with a left click. I'm gonna go into this uh, and click activate the Pro Builder icon. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a wall with this. So I will left click the top face. Oh, sorry. So first you need to go into face selection, make sure that's activated. And then click the top face of your cube. Just move it up. Right, just like that. And then click uh, the left face of your wall. And we're going to go ahead and move it to the left. Okay, cool. So, now what's, what's the next part of the tutorial? We Oh, we, we should make it a little bit thinner. So let me click the front face. Make it a little thinner. Okay, cool. Now we need to extrude some faces to make a door. Okay. So we need to select the top face of your wall. Okay. What we're going to do is we select that top face. And uh, the next step says hold shift and then drag it up to extrude it. What does that do? It looks basically the same, right? Except there are two sections. Rather, you created, um, you extruded it, and now there's two faces right here. There's one face on the bottom, one face on the top. They're two separate things that you can move independently, right, like that. Uh, I could extrude this out a little bit more if I wanted to, but uh, let's not get into that. Let's stay on track. So we extruded it up by holding shift. And then now this image, <laughs> this image doesn't make sense. It says hold shift and left click once on each of the two faces of the left side. So what we just need to do, what it actually means is you need to click there's these two faces on the left side. One, two. So hold shift to multi-select them. And then hold shift again, and then bring it out to extrude it to make your doorway, right? That's the first part of the doorway. Now without clicking anything else, hold shift again to extrude it one more time to the left. Now you have this, uh, what looks to be a doorway, right? Looks exactly like this, besides some size differences, but you can go ahead and uh, adjust it if you like. So that's how you should be ending up at this shape. Um, and then, of course, you can go ahead you click the fa the front face, uh, what was it? What's the next one? Oh, you can adjust the shape of the door. So you, uh, what'd you do? You can basically you move the edge loops. So you left click this, select, no, 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 sorry. Pro Builder select, 
and then you can select the edge loop which loops around the whole mesh this whole cube mesh see that yellow outline it's going around the hole around the bottom and around the sides now what you want to do you can go ahead and move that left right however you want to adjust just try not to cross over the other edge loop because some weird things may start happening if i try to select a face it's not going to want to select the right face so let me go ahead and undo that Control z until it looks right okay um where, where were we adjusting the edge loops right okay so i'm gonna go ahead and select any edge right click pro builder select uh select edge loop now i can shift it shift that whole edge that whole loop sorry left and right now i'm gonna go ahead and make it adjust the size a little bit now i will do that for this for the top of the doorway uh, I will select the top of the doorway, Pro Builder select, select edge loop, and then I can shift it up and down. So I'll go ahead and shift it a little bit higher. Now we adjusted the shape of the door. Now we need to go ahead and clear a hole for the door. What we need to do is select, get the face selection out, select the door cutout that we want to, you know, cut out. And then we press backspace on it. It deletes the face. Wow. So we've got, well, a doorway. It's kind of flat, though. Um, and if we walk through it in, oh, it's still there. Right? Because we only deleted the front face. There's two faces. One on the front, one on the back. And also technically one on the bottom. We'll get to that. But let's go ahead and do that again. Delete the front face. We're gonna go ahead and move the camera to the back. Delete the back face. Uh, ignore whatever's in the background. <laughs> and also we will need to remove the face at the bottom of the door as well. So you go to the bottom, left click that face, Press backspace, delete it. We don't need it because it's just, it, it's not needed, you know? What do you need this piece for? Well, you're going to you're gonna move it up? You're going to extrude it up? Like, man, some weird stuff happens if you're not careful with your geometry. Um, but for simplicity, delete that bottom, uh, that bottom face. So now... We need to bridge the gaps. Number 10. Uh, what you need to do is get your edge selection tool out. And now you need to multi-select two parallel edges. So this is parallel. This is parallel with each other. These two. So I'm going to left click this, this edge. And then I'm going to hold shift to multi-select this parallel edge and then I'm going to right click and then uh, bridge edges boom it can be a little hard to select uh, things with pro builder it's a little hard to see what you're selecting so if nothing happened maybe press control Z um, just in case you did something weird uh, things happen like that. So I selected these two parallel edges for the top of the doorway, multi selected them, right click, and bridge edges. I'm going to do that for the left side uh, edge, multi select the second edge. It's, it's hard to see what you're selecting. Why? Why is that so hard to see? And then I'm going to go ahead and bridge those edges. And now we have. The doorway cool nice um, I believe oh and then there's the one with the pre-existing wall so I guess we can go ahead and do that real quick right now so let me see 
You can also create a cube alternatively by right clicking in the hierarchy and going to Pro Builder and select the cube. We've got a nice cube. Let's go ahead and uh, zero out the Y, get it on the ground. Now, let's see, we need to make this into a wall. Um, so I will select my Pro Builder cube, turn on Pro Builder edit mode, and I'm going to go ahead and make a wall as if, you know, let's say you're making a prototype and and you've got a wall laid out and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I want to add a new room to the other side. Well, how do we do that? Okay. So in the tutorial, I believe you get your edge selection uh, tool out. Now you select the left and right edges and we're going to right click and where is it? Uh, oh, insert edge loop. Does that look familiar? It can, it, it looks kind of familiar to the top edge loop of this. So now we've got the top of our doorway. Okay. Now how do we make the edge loops, uh, from the left and right. So what you need to do is make sure your object is selected and what is it? Left, right. Uh, left and right. You know what? If you don't know, you can just always create, select two parallel edges and insert edge loop. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Right. <laughs> uh, exactly what we needed. So it will create an edge loop that is, that will loop around your model. I don't know how to describe which orientation it does, right? You need to, I guess, select the top and the bottom ones to create a vertical edge loop, maybe, right? That's what they do. So that's what I'm doing here. Let's insert edge loop. And now we have a door cut out just like that. And you can just do the same thing. Delete the front face, delete the back face, delete the bottom face, and then bridge your uh, edges. Uh, so left click, left click, multi-select, uh, bridge edges left click multi-select left click and then bridge edges and then i get there you go you got a doorway that should be that should be the tutorial until number 11. <laughs> thanks for watching i hope that kind of answers that guy's question after what two months <laughs> if they even see this or if, it, if this will maybe answer uh, answer anyone else's concerns or questions so thanks for watching yeah hope you fix your problem i'll be seeing you i don't know if i'll be seeing you again <laughs> to be honest all right bye-bye have a good one